Welcome back to another little game test. I'm testing out Dredge on the INEO Air Plus Intel i3-1215U. So this runs really well, it has to be said. And it's on sale at the moment if you were to look over on Green Man Gaming. You can buy a Steam key for this. And it's currently 12% off, which isn't a massive discount. But I think it's a sufficient discount, and it was certainly a sufficient discount to make me go out and buy it. So, uh, current cost is £19.35, so that's about under $25, I think. And um, for such a simple premise for a game, it's actually quite good fun. I've just started the game. Um, more interested in getting my settings right first, so I'll just show the settings I'm running here. Um, if I can get these settings to stay in place. So... I usually set myself an FPS limit of about 30 and I've got running at 9 watts TDP and I'm also using the balanced fan profile although it works pretty well on the mute one as well which is all but silent. So yeah we've got this locked to 33 FPS that gives a little bit of wiggle room for dipping down to 30 and I have to say it's running pretty well. So as you can see the, the GPU CPU combo is pulling a little bit less than 9 watts it's pulling 7.5 but it does jump up every now and then as you've just witnessed. So the discharge rate is about 14 watts, and I think I'm actually running about mid brightness levels, quite low, yeah, 54% brightness, and relatively low in the volume, 16% there. And I have to say, this game runs really well. It's nice, nice. I know there's um, quite a lot to this game, but the, the initial fishing elements are quite nice. I have to say, it's. Been a bit of a, a strange couple of weeks for handheld gaming in that um, I've got really addicted to Dave the Diver and now we've got another fishing game <laughs> that the channel is playing quite a lot. And so you basically sail around, find little fishing spots and catch some fish. That simply. When you catch a fish, you can rotate them and put them in your little hold and then carry on fishing. Now with all the mass hysteria for uh, Baldur's Gate just now, a game that I think I would probably quite enjoy, <laughs> if you don't want to pay full price for that, and I'm sure it's about over $50 or over £50, so I won't be picking that up for a little while yet. Oh, I've just crashed. That wasn't really clever, was it? But this is just a lovely little... It's peaceful at the moment. I know there's going to be some bigger story moments later on. I'm not going to give any spoilers. But yes, it's a nice, fun little game. And it only takes up about six, 700 mega data. Or storage, I should say. So really, it's um, a real minnow of a game. And it, it looks so nice. So we are running 720p. And we'll just lift the settings at whatever the stock settings are. What's not to like? I think it's starting to get a little bit dark. I know bad things happen at night time and we've just started this game so we're going to pack up for the night. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I should have some more content landing soon. I think my little live stream recently was quite popular so I may um, revisit that later this week. If you're interested, just uh, drop a message on the channel if you've got any specific games you'd like me to try out as part of the live stream. Now, that stream was with the Absolute. I'm thinking about doing it with other handhelds so... If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments section, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.